Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about my sexuality. So, this video is probably not going to make any money, but I don't care. Anyways, I am demisexual, which means I only develop sexual attraction after a deep, meaningful connection. And other than that, I'm not attracted sexually into anyone. Now, then there is um, cupio sexual, which I like the physical act of sex or sex favorable and i like to have the physical act even without being attracted to the person basically just meaning the sex then there is uh the fictophilia i have a kink slash attraction for fictional characters and i love them they're adorable they're perfect they're wonderful they're stunning they're gorgeous mm -hmm. i will simp for them every day but for things like loki or live action characters or uh, animated characters it's like as soon as the actor is in the situation or you refer to the actor as the per character it's like nah and if they were real life characters and less monsters i probably wouldn't do them because they're just meh then and then there is the whole thing with my pan romantic i can become romantically attracted to anyone even without the deep meaningful connection it's easier for me for that and also helps create the deep meaningful connection but i am a simp for romance i love a good classic romance or just anything romantic i'm a sucker for it and all that and then there is am i, am I missing anything Oh, omnisexual, because my omnisexual is a bit different, it's because it would be, omnisexual is the one you would prefer to be sexually attracted to, or prefer to be sexually attracted to, or omniromantic, who you prefer to be romantic to. And if I do become demisexual for someone, I prefer them to be female from my own abuse by men and such. And also that women are just are beautiful trans women with non-binaries that go by she, her because it's easier for them or for, which I'm not saying non-binaries are women. They just, some of them go with more female percent and stuff. So I prefer the more female percent and stuff and female anatomy in general compared to that. But also trans women, even if they have a, uh, extra part between their legs i don't mind that they're beautiful women regardless and all that and then there is the whole thing on omnisexual pin romantic demisexual cubosexual victophilia yeah that's it that's pretty much it so i just go under the umbrella term of queer because it's easier to say i'm just queer than it is to explain every niche sexuality that i have that a lot of people don't know about because they know about bi, pan, uh, gay, straight. I'm for sure a lot of people don't know about demisexual or fictophilia or any of that. Fictophilia is like was labeled in 2012 and it's not uh, official sexuality. You can be ficto romantic, ficto sexual, fictophilia, which is more the kink for them, which, yeah, it's the kink for fictional characters for me that I just like to read about them in fiction, but if they were real life, I probably would not want to be around them or be with them in general because, ew. Anyway, so those are the things that I deal with on a regular basis for all this good, glorious stuff. And it works for me. It really does. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more for this Pride Month this year, I will do my best to do it and all that because... I'm going to do little stories, story times of uh, what I'm going to, this year, of what I experienced from my Pride stuff. Like, there is two things off the top of my head that I can mention right now where uh, one is a Jesus ride I had with my sister when I was 13 and came out thinking I was bi at the time. And it I'll get into details of that. That's one option. Or the small short where I had a short haircut and wanted to wear a certain clothes and my mom called me the D-word. Said that I looked like a D-word. I'll get into details on that and why it affected me in some ways. Anyways, if you want to hear any of those, comment below what you want to hear. And I will do it because my the LGBTQIA plus deserves to be heard and I want you all to relate to me and if you are against the LGBTQIA+, that is fine. You're f I live I'm fully about 
freedom of speech and freedom of that, but you're not against freedom consequences. And the rules here are, do not spread hate on my channel or you will be blocked. You can have whatever opinion you want. That is your right. I'm not going to take that away. But if you're spreading openly hate and saying slurs or saying that, oh, trans people don't exist or saying oh, people are grooming children, then you don't belong here. Because yes, because I've been assaulted by adult straight men who were religious. And I was told by the church I went to that, oh, you shouldn't have tempted him. He was my father. My father r worded me for three years. And I was slutty shamed for that because I tempted him. And honestly, that is why I'm against most religions. I know not all religions are like this, but I've had bad experiences. And honestly, a lot of religious figures have been proven to groom children. Yes, there are some LGBTQI people that are not 100% good. In any group, there's going to be bad eggs. Just like not all priests or fi religious figures are bad people. I'm not saying that they are. But there is a more statistic that priests have done that in history and gotten away with it. But there's not all the LGBTQIA is not good. But damn an entire religion or an entire, uh, or an entire, uh, community based on a few bad eggs. Because there's bad eggs in every demographic. You can't say everyone in that demographic is the same mind because that's lumping everyone together. And that's, uh, racism and bigotry and just... Showing that you think all the people are bad and spreading hate. And that's what I'm against. I'm against you spreading hate. Now, if anyone on my channel is LGBTQIA and you're hurting children, you can burn in hell. And if you're straight, cis, whatever, and you're hurting children and or forcing yourself on someone, you can burn in hell for all I care. I don't care if you've been a follower. I don't care if you're my biggest fan. I don't care. Get the frick off my page because this is a channel for love and support and for simping. And yes, bigots can be loved too. I won't agree with them. And if they're not spreading hate, they're welcome here. But if they openly spread hate, then they're gone. Bottom line. Because this is a safe community for everyone. Cis, straight, whatever. But if you're openly spreading hate and causing turmoil to other people... Don't care your sexuality, don't care your age, don't care your gender, don't care at all. You spread hate on this page and for anything against anyone, then you're out of here. And unless it's hate for like child touchers and Nazis, because they are the worst. Anyways, I got a bit off track. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. This was just a mini rant and an announcement for me focusing on Pride Month. They, well, not Pride Month coming early, but I want to focus more on making this an inclusive community so you all feel uh, safe and that you can relate because I have been through self-harm. I have had eating disorders. I have been through bigotry in various forms, and I have severe mental health, so I can relate to a lot of things. I can't relate to what it's like being a person of color, though, because I'm the whitest person you will ever meet. But I can relate to a lot of other issues and stuff. And also, I had a one incident. I can't say I can relate fully to it. But systemic racism. Because my grandfather is Jewish. And my uh, mom was raised partially Jewish and Catholic. And I had some Jewish and Catholic uh, stuff raised with me until we became Baptist. So I have experienced some of that religious stuff but also one time I had where I was called a very graphic slur I didn't know what it was at the time but it was against Jewish people and I did not feel comfortable with it after I figured that out and I'm not going to repeat it because I'm not going to do that anyways I hope that you all enjoyed this and stay sexy all my sexy muffins Bye bye